spring 2013. Uh, told you I'd give you another video now that all the snow has melted. I can show you uh, a little more about the water system here. Uh, this is a filter I made. It actually catches water from the roof and then it comes down the gutter. This is a grease filter from like over your stove. And it goes down inside there. Gotta clean that. Goes down in the ground. And it goes over to the cistern. did, see if there's some way I can post a diagram and talk more about it, because it would be pretty helpful to somebody if they're going to do this. In Michigan, it gets too cold here, so you can't have water above ground, so everything has to be stored below. So that looks like a wellhead, but what I really did was there's a 550-gallon tank inside this. That's one of those tanks from TSC. I think it was around 400 bucks, a little cheaper than burying a below ground one. A uh, hard lesson learned, the reason it says not for below ground use is the top can't support anything. So you have to build something like this on top of it. Other than that, it's been down there two years, no problems. Um, back to the wellhead part. Here's what's going on. I took a shower drain and replaced the plumbing that was in the side of the tank. That got me into normal PVC sizes came out of the tank so I'm, the tanks teed into this pipe and then above the water level the filter system is teed into this pipe and there's a what's called a pit adapter which is what's in your well at home if you have one um, and that's where the water pump is down in the ground the water pumps a 12 volt one from eBay um, it can fit all the way down to two inch pipe but I went to full size pipe in case I ever want to upgrade and run it like a uh, like a like a regular well at home off 110 my solar solar and uh, battery power gets up to snuff uh, I might want to do that but right now the 12 volt pump works pretty good um, then it goes underground all the way over here That's where it comes in the cabin. They had a freezing problem. I got to get a little deeper, but this is what this whole deal's about: is learning lessons. Uh, another thing I want to say, because somebody will probably post this: this is not drinkable water. This is not drinkable water. This is for taking showers, spraying off four wheelers, uh, flushing toilets, things like that. Um, I'm going to look into things. I have a couple friends that are in the water treatment business. Um, what it would take to make it potable, but the reality is, is we drink bottled water at home, and I drink bottled water here, I don't drink this water. Um, you just wash dishes, you make sure you boil it good, and uh, everything should be fine. Uh, and then we keep barrels around, like I'm catching some water off the solar panels there. That barrel's for, uh, you know, water and flowers, things like that, and I got a couple other ones around. Um, and then this is the new project. We're going to put in a septic system. I uh, picked this stuff up a couple days ago. It's a 500 gallon uh, septic tank. Uh, then those are supposed to be a new style of leach field that you don't have to use gravel or anything with. Um, we'll see how that works out. I'm sure up here it's going to be fine. I mean we got one toilet that's used four or five days every couple months. So this is probably extreme overkill but that's how I like to do things. Pretty exciting. Oh, and then some other little changes. Uh, I put added a window to the bathroom there. Um, then I made a smaller window in the kitchen because we're going to do the kitchen this year. Uh, and the cabinets are going to be two tiles, making our kitchen have to be small. So if you are planning out a cabin, make sure you don't get in the uh, discussion of having big windows for lots of light. You don't get too big of windows because then the cabinets are going to be too tall. Uh, that's what I ran into there. Um, that's it for right now. Uh, that's going to be our water system video, and I'll probably post some updates as things go along and things I run into that are bad and good. Uh, two years of having that pipe like that, and that's the first year it fell.
froze, so I gotta look into why that happened. Um, but when I do that, I'll tell you if I found like a leak or whatever, there's a big ball of ice around it. But other than that, the cistern works great. The cistern's full all the way to the top. Oh, and you gotta have somewhere for the water to go when your cistern's full. So I drilled a hole in the side of the tank right by the lid at where I wanted the water level to be. And then I got probably, I don't know if you can see that orange stake there, uh, I'm going to call it 25 feet of uh, perforated black pipe with a sock around it. It's all sand here in Michigan. Um, and then that's where the overflow goes. So that tank is full to the top um, right now. Uh, takes, I never did the math, but it took it about two months of rain to fill all the way to the top. And I can tell you that when we come up here to, to have fun, that uh, every time I check the tank, one of the first things I do, and it's full full to the top every time, we use probably about an eighth of a tank for two 